than 100 homes in Airby. Yeah, people there spent the day trying to get as much debris out of the way as possible. A tall task for them. So let's get out to Erica Ferrando in Airby tonight for the latest on that. Erica. Hey, Katie and Therese, we are in one of the hardest hit neighborhoods from last week's tornado, and we have been feeling some pretty powerful gusts of wind since early this afternoon. You can see that blue tarp blowing in the wind behind me, and there's also a lot of debris piled up along the roads. That is a concern because, of course, they are expecting some powerful wind tonight. But take a look. The parish has been cleaning up this debris, and many have been working on boarding up their homes and securing tarps before for tonight's storm. I spoke with a homeowner, Adam Basso, who said he was driving home last Tuesday when he saw the tornado. When he finally made it, he realized his home had extensive damage. And now with another storm coming, he said he's just hoping he doesn't have a bigger mess to clean up. Very stressed, that is for sure, because I ain't trying to go through it again, you know? <laughs> so, but ain't nothing we can do about the weather. Just getting the rest of the windows boarded up and, you know, the roof topped up because I just from the tornado, I got the uh, I got a big hole in the roof. So just trying to get that finished up and, you know, hopefully they don't get no more damage. Now, for anyone in this area who doesn't feel safe in their home, St. Bernard Parish just opened the Val Reese building at 5 o'clock, and that will stay open for anyone who wants some safe shelter until the storm passes. For now, live in Araby, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you.